Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. Nice to see you. So, like you see, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff here today. Yeah, I completely disassembled my old Tesla coil, like you know it out of my uh, all my videos. <clears throat> yeah, and I got some additional parts that I want to show you. And um, yeah, later we built some little stuff and I want to talk a little bit more about uh, the plans I have in my mind, how I want to design this new Tesla coil. And yeah, I should say, let's start it. I want to show you something about this. <laughs> so for the new build, I'm using still my two uh, still trusty GU81M <laughs> transmitter tubes. I have a yeah, bigger capacitor bank for the voltage doubler. Um, yeah, about these capacitors I said something in my last video. Now I have built these, um, this little capacitor bank. <laughs> little capacitor bank. <laughs> it's a um, capacitor capacitor bank rated to 4.8 kilovolts at 20 microfarads. Yeah, I want to use this for my voltage doubler circuit. Yeah, I still using, or well, I want to more likely have to use <laughs> my uh, old um, microwave oven transformers. These are four pieces. So two sets in series, these are together in parallel. So yeah, that's the transformer for the for the heaters of the tubes. Yeah, my little wimpy ballast transformer. This thing is still holding strong. Yeah, I know it's not the best, but I yeah, just use it like it is. I want to try something new on uh, the new build. That's something I tried um, on the old Tesla coil too. So that I want to use these old light bulbs. I have there some sockets. Um, on my old build I, I had the idea in mind that I want to use um, 200 watt bulbs and then can I can experiment a little bit with additional uh, smaller bulbs um, yeah to get a little bit uh, more current on the feedback um, but this was not yeah working right so but this time I will yeah experiment a little bit more on the feedback um, design and yeah. That's something I will show you in, in the next videos when I build this whole thing together and uh, try it out and test it and yeah, you will see in the future. <laughs> yeah, still have my resistors um, that I might will use when these bulbs don't work that good for the feedback. Yeah, something new I have in mind. You will uh, see it later when I show you um, how I want to build this because I want to cool down the primary and the secondary coil with uh, yeah with air. So that is something I have uh, in mind for this because on my last build uh, the primary and secondary coil was getting quite warm. It was not bad but uh, I thought yeah maybe when I rebuild the whole thing, why should I not uh, try to cool this? Hmm. So, for this is um, this fan and um, I have two little fans uh, for the tubes, one fan for each tube and yeah, some material for the for a bigger toroid. I want to try, uh, <laughs> well, I want to build yeah, and when we came to the secondary and the primary. So this time I want to try something bigger. So uh, my last secondary coil was this one here. 
and that's actually um, it's 30 centimeters long and have a diameter of 75 millimeters so this time I want to try a secondary that is 35 centimeters long and 110 millimeters in diameter so and in this case yeah we will see some difference also this uh, secondary will have an, a lot higher resonance frequency um, I'm aiming to about uh, between 1 megahertz and 1.2 megahertz yeah we will see at the end and yeah also for the primary this one is bigger in diameter this tubing has a um, 160 millimeter diameter and my old primary is yeah <laughs> i built many of these but uh, the last one i was using is this here and this have a diameter of 125 millimeters so yeah what have we here yeah that's the old old triac that I used for the tubes. I reuse this. This just works. It's a little wimpy thing switching these tubes. <laughs> that uh, looks crazy, but it just works. And um, yeah, some of the caps for the um, primary coil. I try to use two of these. These are. Um, 100 picofarad ceramic caps yeah these ones are too big for the for the um, high frequency um, coil that I want to build but maybe later I will experiment with a, a little bit different or much different coil I want to experiment with a really small coil so that i have in mind and um, with a really special uh, primary coil design but uh, first i want to build it like that and maybe later i will experiment a little bit more with different stuff <laughs> so there i have the <clears throat> sort of low pass filter it's an mmc out of fkp1 um, capacitors about 5 nanofarads at uh, 24 kilovolts uh, DC or about 9 kilovolts AC <clears throat> yeah, to protect uh, the voltage tapper circuit with its uh, diodes yeah for this I'm using these big ones these are 15 amps at 1 kilovolt diodes I will use about yeah, 20 of these in series and yeah stuff them into this tube yeah that's that what i have on mind with this so then i should say or would say um let's see what i have in mind uh, how i want to design this it's um still not not finished in my head <laughs> but uh, i think it's uh, this may be a, um, a good idea it's a little bit different um to my to my last design of my last little tesla coil um yeah but you will see so this is yeah the design that i have on mind <laughs> it's not that compact like it was before because yeah obviously I got a way bigger capacitor bank I got a bigger primary coil and I had some ideas yeah how to get the cooling a little bit better so um, I just used this uh, just to that you can imagine a little bit better what I have in mind because I want to build um, a box should I say box on English? I don't know. <laughs> it's an here and platform. There it goes a little bit higher. And um, yeah, it's hollow. So 
and I want to push air into this contraption. <laughs> so because of this, I'm pushing air in under the primary and the secondary. I want to drill holes and the air can get pushed out of these holes and can get out between the primary and the secondary coil and maybe I make holes underneath the secondary in, in the secondary too so that I can um, push the air through the secondary through the insides and through the outs outsides between the primary and the secondary coil so to get an airflow going there but also this platform is hollow under the tubes so i want to build um, yeah diy uh, tube sockets for the gu81 amps to yeah get them about here and then um, do the same thing uh, with like the primary and the secondary coil um, making a an, an hole underneath the tube to push some air um, around the tube socket to cool this a little bit down and also I'm using additional little fans I think <laughs> it, it's really experimental <laughs> so many things can change but but it's my my first um, imagination of this is um yeah to get here an, an, an wooden board and to get these fans on this board in a slight angle to cool down the tube on the top because um yeah, these are some hot spots on these uh, tubes. That's one is the top and the connections. The are uh, these are really critical. These uh, don't like to get too hot. Also on the bottom, I want to cool it a little bit down. So um, yeah, that's one thing that I thought about the cooling and how I get this done. Also um, with this like I built this now is I'm getting the capacitors a little bit out of the way of the um, primary coil also all the transformers because I don't want to um, yeah get in too close to the strong electromagnetic field um, yeah also the wiring is really straightforward because I have the low voltage side here, well, low voltage side. <laughs> so the main side have, I have on this side. So there will be all the connections and little bit housing and everything. So now it's really rough. <laughs> and then it goes to the high voltage side, high voltage AC side. Then it gets uh, halfway rectified uh, through the voltage tablet and then it gets yeah up to the primary coil and then down into the tube and uh, yeah the other stuff is uh, yeah getting around there but then that's uh, that's just uh, little things like the feedback circuit and um, the triac I think this one I will put down there between the tubes and this uh, cooling fin, fin is more than enough this one gets just hand warm so don't need to get cooled that uh, crazy yeah yeah that's my idea and um, yeah you can uh, yeah write in the comments what you guys think about this um, yeah it's not that small anymore <laughs> and yeah i could do it in uh, like two blocks so uh, the power supply supply down then a wooden board over this and then um, the tube with the uh, primary coil over that 
But uh, what I think about this is um, the electromagnetic field of the primary coil is mainly forcing up and down. Um, and yeah, for sure a little bit to the sides. But uh, I don't want to have too much under the... Um, no, don't want to have my transformers or capacitors uh, under my primary coil. So uh, yeah, the only thing that goes near uh, the primary coil is the uh, van. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's a bad idea, but yeah, we will see what happens with that. <laughs> but I think it's okay. Um, I don't put it there. So I put it a little bit out of the way. This uh, thing gets a little bit wider, wider too. This uh, van will sit here. So I think it's everything okay with that. These are sitting about here and that's um, enough space. So yeah, I would say that's all from me today. Um, yeah, write down in the comments what you guys think about this. And yeah, I will now just start to build this thing slowly, piece by piece. I think I built first some blocks so like this capacitor bank i have built now i want to build an, an yeah contraption where i can put in these uh, transformers then this block is finished then i think about the uh, the transformer for the heater and the um, ballast transformer i think i made a separate block out of this so and later i can just uh, put this in here and um, yeah, twist it a little bit around and, and see what's going on and how this stuff fits. And then I built this wooden box here um, for, the, for my cooling system and yeah, so on. So, have a nice day, have a nice evening, morning, whatever. <laughs> bye bye.